Most people in life are looking at how to make a life worth living in return with having. When I'm making these audio casts, which is pre-dating, basically my upcoming radio show, I have to believe that the people who are planning to hire me are listening, you know. I also am proving every single minute, practically, that the people stalking me are a part of the police or sheriff network. I was just driven up on by a red truck by a man who sort of could match some of my graphic design either on my business card or actually on my spirituality card. And what he tried to play me with was a bunch of coin. He was able to show them to me without dropping them because he's got big, monstrous hands and he alleged that he worked in stamping. And I knew that I was in the midst of a play. You see, I just recently talked about that particular work and openly out it being a stamping shop in a plant. That probably gave the bastards of the hood the ability to look things up or define their ideas about life. What I also recognize is that there was a watcher behind him who saw him drop the coin and while he said his little macho, my bad, as these people do, it's one of the reasons I almost always refuse coinage from people. Now it was a generous donation to my food ministry for people like me who've experienced police abuse, police brutality, and actually sexual assault from those people. I've also experienced cybercrime, identity theft, and fraud on my life by people that should have known better about the law. But here's the crazy thing. When people like to avoid the law that governs them, but try to apply the law to people that it doesn't bother, there's often a trouble that will be brewing. Does that make sense to the players in the hood? You see, I was told maybe yesterday, or was it the day before, that they would try to make this insult play next. Let's try to insult him with coinage. A lady earlier today who was Middle Eastern tried to give me coin, but I do my best not to accept anything from anyone from that area of the world. You see, the last time I received a $50 generous donation from a kid on campus who alleged he was sort of from that realm and Aramaic, that I realized that I had put myself in a play. The next day I found that several days were missing and there was a lot of pain in my feet and other places. You see, people who play in from foreign nations don't have the same regard for our laws that we should and usually do if we were raised in a modern household where truth was requested and expected. Liars of the land like to expunge themselves from any responsibility that they have for the abuse in terms of litigation abuse, emotional abuse, psychological abuse, or intellectual abuse, or just passive-aggressive behavior that they abuse people with. Trying to play reverse psychology or I'm going to lie about your behavior so I can do what I want to you sort of things that I've experienced with a handful of siblings. You see, the siblings don't live your life. They're not with you every single minute, and they presume to know you when they really didn't. But here's the truth. A police officer can pretend that he's a friend in one moment, being tested by his supervisor if he can do something trustworthy, but he can actually pretend to be a friend of me in the moment in which he's supposed to deliver service to me, and then afterwards the watchers who come from the federal government to see what's going on and whether or not he is truly trustworthy with cash and trustworthy with people and trustworthy with principles and trustworthy with policies of the federal government and the nationally elected president just might end up having some trouble, you see. But my face, meaning my beard that was grown for my God and my version of faith, protected under the First Amendment, doesn't matter to that man. And my body, which should be clothed and safe from people like that who like to teach lessons of immorality at hand, should also be safe according to our many laws that govern safety in our world. But the stupidness of white trash women and their boyfriends is always their stares at my life and what I'm doing to put my life forward to actually earn the kiss of my upcoming wife. But the foolishness of her was thinking that telling people to lay off would actually do that. Instead, it got people to be more on top of something that is none of their fucking business.